Dr. Charles Gerba spends a large part of his day on the University of Arizona campus contemplating the invisible world of microorganisms. A recent study conducted by Dr. Gerba says that there is a correlation between the types of cars we drive and the amount of germs and allergens in those cars. Well, we did a study on, on actually microbiology of cars to determine uh, what the risk might be of actually uh, being exposed to microorganisms that uh, can be or produce allergies and ones that might cause disease. Uh, we looked at uh, automobiles around the, in the United States from uh, Florida to Chicago uh, to San Francisco. And what was kind of interesting, what we found was that uh, cars that were in hot, humid environments, they acted like saunas. There were large numbers of bacteria in those cars, but cars in more northern latitudes, like in Chicago, acted like refrigerators and molds dominated in those cars, or, or fungi. You know, actually, quite surprisingly, the germiest area was the dashboard of the car. Even though it looks clean to most people, it can harbor uh, millions of microorganisms. Why? Because the air circulation system in the car uh, uh, drives the air over the uh, dashboard and the microorganisms impact on your dashboard. So they accumulate there over time. Uh, the next germiest places we found are where you keep your coffee cup or cups or soda pop uh, and where you keep your uh, change in that because you're always putting food in the case of coffee cups or uh, pop, and so microorganisms grow there. And probably the, the, the reason the change area has a lot of organisms is because you're putting your hands there and your fingers there, you're eating sandwiches there, so you're always putting germs there. And basically how we sample areas is to use a cotton swab, and we take the organisms off and we bring them back to the laboratory, and then we grow up to see what kind of organisms are actually in the car. One reason cars get so germy is people don't clean them as often probably as they should. And also they don't use a, a disinfectant in a car uh, usually. And every time you clean a car you just move germs around. So you really should keep something like a disinfecting wipe in the car would be a really good idea. And hit some key areas, particularly the change holder, the coffee cup, the kids' car seats uh, would, be a, would be a good idea.